the most courageous and loyal man in the Gears of War universe. A badass soldier, but a kind-hearted soul. Dominic Santiago was one of the best written characters in video games. He was the heart and soul of the original Gears of War trilogy. He had lost everything he lived for, he had lost everything he loved, and eventually, he had lost himself. As always, I'm your host Abs, and I apologise if this is a bit of an emotional one, because this is the slow demise of Dom Santiago. Dom. Dom, you awake? I brought you breakfast. The kids are at my mother's, so we got the whole day to ourselves. Dom! Are you awake? Dom! 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 Dom, wake up! Huh. What? Huh? Dom, you okay? Tell me... Tell me we aren't where I think we are. Hate to tell you, Dom. We are. Towards the end of the Pendulum Wars, Dom and his wife Maria decided to move from their city apartment in Jacinto to a house in the suburbs of Afera. Dom found and rented an Afera residence, a two-story house for him and Maria to create a new life with their two children, Benedicto and Sylvia, in a new era of peace. During the six weeks of peace at the end of the Pendulum Wars, Maria and Dom maintained their family with outings, picnics and playing in the park. They had brought in a stray cat as a pet. Life was good. Life was back to normal. With the war over, Maria's parents wanted to spend as much time as possible with their grandchildren. Maria planned for her children to spend more time with their grandparents. So one day, Maria sent the kids to her mother's, so that Dom and Maria can have the day all to themselves. Unfortunately, this day was Emergence Day. A planet-wide attack without any warning or declaration of war. On that day, a systematic campaign of human slaughter had begun by monsters who were later known as the Locust Horde. On that day, Maria's parents were killed while Benedicto and Sylvia were killed when an emergence hall opened beneath them. The two children unfortunately fell to their deaths. Dom and Maria were able to evacuate back to their house in Jacinto while the Locust attacked the city. The shocking events led to Maria being pushed over the edge with major depression and post-traumatic stress disorder after the loss of her children and her parents. Her new life destroyed, as well as Dom's constant presence on the front line, fighting against the Locust Horde. This war was already so personal to him. Leaving Maria alone in their home in her thoughts, exposed to the news reports of the Locust insurgents day by day. She would go for weeks without speaking or eating, and she blamed herself for her children's deaths for sending the kids to her parents on that day, thinking that she let the Locust Horde kill them. One year after Emergence Day and the horrific events that transpired, Dom and Maria continued to live their lives. Dom spent much of his time fighting the Locust, while Maria was prescribed with antidepressants and stayed at home. She began to live in denial. She sobbed about her children and would still clean their rooms and go out for walks, believing that the kids were still alive. She blocked out the truth about her children, and Dom became upset with her denial. After the first year of Emergence Day, Dom hosted a dinner party cooked for Maria and Marcus, which allowed Dom to show Marcus the extent of Maria's depression. Afterwards, when Dom was prepared to go back from leave, Maria went through the kitchen drawers and found the photo that Dom's brother Carlos took of them at the bar in Embry Square. She signed a note on the back, So you always have me with you. I love you, Dominic. Always, Maria. She gave the photo to Dom and he promised to always keep it safe to remind him about her. One day, however, Dom didn't find Maria at the house. Adam Phoenix had her escorted to the Phoenix estate for her own safety a couple of days before the planned hammer strike on Sarah. As of course, Adam Phoenix, along with a select few others, knew of the COG's counterattack in advance. Even during the hammer strikes, Maria risked her own life to go outside to see her kids again, believing that her children were still alive. Four years after Emergence Day, 
After the years of grief and depression, Maria left Jacinto and vanished. Dom was absolutely devastated. This, along with the loss of his children on E-Day, made the war with the Locust Horde deeply personal. Dom always focused on the job at hand against the Locust, but he would ensure that he looked everywhere for Maria. He always kept their photo with him throughout. In 15 AE, Dom was getting conflicting reports on Maria, including a sighting at Jacinto Med. But Anya, after doing extensive searching, told Dom that this was not the case. There's gotta be another lead or, or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I've lost her again! Ah! God damn it! Copy that, Anya. Delta out. Dom, you okay? Just... I'll catch up with you in a sec, Marcus. Alright? Yeah. Whatever you need. He was devastated, but he continued fighting and pushing forward. In the hollow, some stranded were taking refuge underground to stay out of harm's way. Dom showed a stranded man called Chaps a picture of Maria. Chaps immediately recognised Maria as part of another stranded group, to be specific, Stu's group, but they were captured. Despite this, Chaps told them the location of the work camps. Dom immediately set off to rescue his wife, but Marcus initially objects to this, wanting to continue on with their mission. But Dom angrily reminds him that Marcus did exactly the same thing for his father. Dom said that he would go alone if he needed to. Marcus initially hesitated, but then joined him in the search for Maria. After searching through the prison, Jack found Maria's cell. Dom was finally reunited with Maria. He envisioned her to be her usual beautiful self, but this wasn't the case. She was in a tortured and lobotomized state, initially distraught and unsure how to help Maria, but Marcus allowed Dom privacy so he could do what he needed to do. Damn it, it's me, Dominic! It's Dominic! Marcus, I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, man. She... No. It's okay. I'm so sorry. place now. You did what you had to do. I found a way to sneak into Nexus, but if you want to go in guns blazing, I don't blame you. I want to kill them all. Maria's death took an emotional toll on Dom causing him to lose his optimistic personality, growing a more cold, pessimistic outlook on life. Dom's friends gave their condolences and assured him that euthanizing her was the right thing to do, but Dom blamed himself for not finding her in time and believed that she could have been saved and euthanizing her might have been a mistake. It's really sad how Maria blamed herself for the death of her children and Dom blamed himself for Maria's death for not finding her in time. However, Dr. Heyman assured Dom that euthanizing her was the right thing to do and nothing else could have been done as Maria was slowly dying with incurable diseases as well as being in a permanent vegetative state due to the lobotomy that the locust had put her through. 
As time went on, Dom came to accept Maria's death and hoped that she was happy and loved when she lived with the Stranded before she was captured. Two years after her death, Dom still grieved over her and the actions that he took. Dom let himself grow a beard and took up tomato farming in order to care for something. Dom told Sam to modify his heart tattoo into an angelic Maria cradling the heart with her wings. During this time, Samantha grew a romantic attachment to Dom, but Dom of course was unable to reciprocate the same feelings. During the Lambin invasion, Dom lived on the CNV Sovereign and tried to get on with his life. The Lambin began to attack the ship when Sovereign was entering Lambin waters near Hanover coast. Dom was reluctant to leaving his crops and radishes as if they were his family. He was concerned for the well-being of his tomatoes and crops. After being tasked to get a submarine, from the Endeavour Naval Shipyard to Azora, Dom suggested that they should get fuel for Mercy or Char. Sam was concerned about Dom suggesting going to Maria's hometown in Mercy. Although emotionally broken, Dom assured her that he could handle it and they needed the fuel. So when they arrived in Mercy, Dom began to remember Maria and visited the Flores family grave. When Delta finally got the fuel, they were cornered by the Locust and Lambin and had no escape. Due to Dom's emptiness without Maria and his love for Marcus, Dom had made his decision. Dom managed to save Marcus and Delta Squad, who were able to reach Adam Phoenix and end the Locust and Lambent War. Maria's legacy encouraged Dom to save the world. Dom had saved Marcus and everyone else at his own demise. Marcus was the most affected by Dom's death because of what the two of them had gone through together. But his death had a profound effect on everyone. When Marcus reunited with Baird and Cole at Azora, Marcus informed the two of Dom's death both of them were visibly distraught with Dom's death, with Cole temporarily losing his cool and swearing to avenge Dom. Shortly before Dom was killed, he gave his commando knife to Marcus for him to use to open a rusty pipeline and Dom never took it back before he died. Marcus later used this knife to kill Queen Mira and finally put an end to the Locust War. Finally killed him. Feel that? That's from Dom. 
and everyone else you killed, you bitch. <sighs> So that, my friends, is the slow demise of Dom Santiago. Rest in peace, Dom. Man, I love Gears of War so much. Drop a like if you enjoyed this lore video, subscribe for more similar content like this, and I'll leave a link at the top right of the screen if you want to watch my other lore videos as well. I'm your host, Abs, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.